guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and today I'm participating on the DIY Mommy's Outdoor DIY and Decor Challenge hosted by the DIY Mommy. And she wanted us to make something to decorate at our outdoors. So I decided I wanted to make a ladder. And as I don't have much space on my outdoor because I live in an apartment, I'm going to make a cute ladder for the corner that I have to decorate. For that we're going to need this sticks, paint, steering sticks I bought at Walmart, two packs of those, and two mop sticks or dowels, <laughs> some twine that I found at Walmart, and our pliers. That's for removing our end caps of the poles. And we're going to also need some paint that I will show you a little bit later just to paint our ladder. You can choose whatever color you want. I'm painting mine in gray. So let's get started. First we're going to take our painting steering sticks and we're going to cut them. You can file that if you want but it's not needed. Then we're going to take the end cap of our pole and we're going to use our pliers to get inside that cap and start rolling it like that until you get it off. It's pretty easy. After that we're going to take our poles and we're going to measure our sticks to our poles so we know how much space we got in between and start hot gluing it. You can use E6000 or wood glue and I would recommend that because hot glue will become undone pretty easily. But as I'm tying this that's not an issue. You can continue hot gluing them until you have all of them glued to your poles. And then we're going to take our U-twine and start wrapping our U-twine like that to both sides of our pole. Continue wrapping that around just like that. and then secure the end with some more hot glue. After that you can cut it off, the excess. <laughs> Repeat that all around and now I'm showing you again how I'm doing the wrapping around my stick so you can see that if you use hot glue it will unglue. As you can see on the other side it's moving because hot glue is not the best choice if you're not wrapping this around with twine. And this is how it looks. Now we're going to take it and paint it. Now we're going to start painting our ladder. And for that we're going to need some gray. I'm using pavement and mixing it with white because I didn't have the shade of gray I was looking for. And after I mix it I'm going to paint all of my ladder with this shade of gray. Just like that, we're going to cover everything except for the twine. And this covers really nicely, that's why I wanted to show you the painting progress. So you see that it's really, really good paint that you won't have to give it two coats of that. Paint all of it and now we are going to give it a good dry brush effect like that and for that we're going to cover our twine because I want some of that white showing. Continue dry brushing, we're going to dry brush everything including the twine like that and this is how it turned out as you can see. Let me show you the dry brush effect, how it looks this is how it looks and this is how the ladder looks. I just styled it so you can see how it turned out. In the description box down below I'm going to leave you the link to the playlist and also to our challenge host. I just want to take this opportunity to thank her for bringing us this awesome challenge. I just love how this turned out. And remember, 
If you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye. Now we're going to 